Hello, welcome to Scrap Time, episode 763. My name is Christine, and on today's episode, I'm showing you the Basil Lickety Split albums and the Wayfarer collection. Today, I'm showing you the Basil Basics Lickety Split album and the Wayfarer collection. This here is the album, and as you can see, it's a chipboard album. And I could have painted it and covered it in paper or whatever, but I decided I just wanted to add um, this piece from the medium brown bag. It's, you know, if you're probably familiar with the Bloomingdale's bag. And then I used this washi tape. And with each of the new collections from Basil, you, there are two different washi tapes. And that's the washi tape from the Wayfarer collection designed by Janet Hopkins. And I even used it here on the edge. And you can see how the numbers all lined up when I did it. So it was like two, three, four, five, and it sort of makes its way down. So I thought that was sort of neat. I really like the design of this tape. So again, you can decorate your album any way you'd like. I went with a very basic, uh, simple approach. And so this uh, album is based on a New York trip I took a year ago with my family. So a couple weeks ago, I showed you the album, the real simple album I did from my recent trip. Well, th for this trip, I collected a whole bunch of different ephemera to add in my album. So here's a couple New York postcards I thought I'd start with, and I just punched the holes. And this album, I should say, is a 9 inch by 12 inch wide album. Now you can get these great page dividers and I got the uh, set that has a, a variety of different types of pages. So this page here flips open like this. So I had this long strip here that I decided to put my journaling on and then here's my pictures from Times Square. And then it, when it flips to this side, um, I have some random pictures journaling I used the tape again, this arrow pointed to the picture, and then just to fill in the bottom of my journaling there. I got this uh, little visitor's map from Central Park, so I decided to use that for one of my pages and put a couple Central Park pictures on it. And here on the back. This here is one of the pattern papers from the Wayfarer collection. I just cut it to size and added my uh, pictures. And then on the back, I put some photos and then I just used the tape sort of to fill in those spots. I decided I didn't really need journaling here because it says right there, it's the post office and these are taxi cabs and here it tells about the statue and this is Radio City Music Hall. So I'm like, I don't really need to write the names of the places under the photos because it's on the photo. This was another one of the little protectors for some four by six pictures. And so what I did is I had two little pictures, so I put it onto a piece of cardstock. And this is a good time to mention that I was using, you can get a paper pack that had two of all the double-sided papers, as well as coordinating basil cardstock to go with all your papers. So it's a really good little collection uh, pack to get. So I just put my photos there on the cardstock, and then on the back I glued down our tickets. We went to see Stomp. Here's another protector. This is just four by sixes. So I added two postcards along with my photos and then some photos on the back. Then I added some more postcards to it. And on the back of this postcard, I put our tickets from when we went up to top of the rock. Here's another page divider with some just four by six. And then I, uh, I always like to grab the little barf bags from the plane. So I thought this was a good time. We had gotten this little map from top of the rock and it shows you where all the buildings are. So I thought, oh, well, I can just let, put it right into my little barf bag to hold my map to keep it in with my album. Then we got our picture taken when we were there. We thought it was sort of a fun family photo. But then on the back, I still added a couple pictures and a bit of journaling and some tape. This is one of the maps I had picked out and I folded it in half and I just used multimedium to glue it together to make it a little stronger. So I have some pictures on one side there. They're all from the Chrysler building. 
Then we went on the uh, uh, boat cruise, an evening boat cruise. And so this is a bag from uh, a store we were shopped at. And I just folded it and added all our little boat cruise photos together. Then a little Statue of Liberty postcard. Some uh, bridge postcards. Here's a picture of the MoMA. So we went to the Guggenheim and I had the little uh, family um, brochure they gave us. So inside I put a few pictures from the Guggenheim and then that was Gemma's little drawing. We went to the Met and they have a Percy Jackson and the Olympian scavenger hunt that we did. So this was part of the brochure there. There's a couple pictures. So what I had was I have these photos and then this was from the Percy Jackson, what we were trying to find. And so I had taken, there's a picture of Gemma looking through and then we found that plate. And because of the way these were, I was trying to decide how I was going to um, display them in the album. So I decided I was just going to pile them up and I took a piece of the paper and I just made a pocket. I folded it, glued it on the sides and just made a pocket that these will fit into. So that way we can see the uh, information and our photos all together. This is a bag from Magnolia Bakery. So inside we have pictures from the bakery and the cupcakes. Here's a four by six pocket protector, but again, I took two small photos and put it on a piece of four by six cardstock, both sides. And now we're into our food pictures. So I put some journaling here, but again, this one folds out. So I have my pictures and then I just taped this photo over top because I didn't have any place for the little one. So I just taped it to show our sandwich. Some more food pictures. This is a little plastic bag from one of the stores I always uh, stop at. And these are some pictures from the uh, window display. And then inside is a bit more of some of our favorite shopping stores. Then I had this American Girl bag. So just to introduce, we're into American Girl pictures. Here's some pictures from the dolls getting their hair done. Gemma with the dolls. And then here is the cafe. So for this, I took a piece of the paper from the collection and I just folded it in half and punched the holes. So there's those pictures of our meal and then pictures of uh, leaving the store. Then from one toy store to another, we end up at the Lego store. And again, it's a fold out. So this one had a six by 12 and then three, four by sixes. And so I put all these little pictures from the Lego store and what I had to say about it. And then on this side, we have um, FAO Schwartz. So here I had pictures. They had a display from the Smurfs movie up and then pictures from the store. Oh, these are just extra pictures. Was it, oh, no, what happened was it came out of my pocket. There we go. So here's some four by six and then a bit of journaling on shopping. I think this can just that fold that folds over like that too. And then there's this final um, nine by 12 sheet I used. And so I put pictures from the Disney store and wrote about it and some more pictures from the Disney store ending with the fireworks and thank you for shopping. And then I just glued our boarding passes straight into the album. So hopefully that gives you some ideas of another way you can uh, scrapbook a trip. I loved the Lickety Split um, album and these page protectors. I love being able to play with all different sizes and moving my photos around and printing them at different sizes. Um, I like adding in the elements from the trip, such as these bags and postcards. If you get menus, you can add menus in. Um, I added maps, the museum stuff. It's just a way to make a fun, interactive um, album and keeping all of your ephemera together with your pictures and journaling.
Let me just close this up. And there you go. The Basil Wayfair Collection and Lickety Split album. Well, that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out my website at www.scraptime.ca. And on our next episode, I'm showing you some products from Pebbles and some lifestyle crafts box dies. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.